Here now for his first interview since his legislation passed, Chris Sproul. So Florida, he is the Speaker of the House there. And by a 70-38 count, uh, it looks like Disney is going to be one of the masses instead of uh, an entity all its own. Where do you go from here? And why did you vote the way you did? Well, thanks for having me, Brian. It's really simple. You know, Disney deserves to be treated like any other company in the state. Uh, here in the state of Florida since 1968, I'll say that again, since the 1968 Constitution, when Lyndon Johnson was president, there's been a, a six special ta taxing districts that nobody's looked at. Only one of them is Disney. Some of them are mosquito control districts or law libraries, but only one belongs to a corporation. It's about time that Florida went and looked at these special taxing districts would have this awesome power. I mean, Disney, a corporation, has the power from the state to build their own nuclear power plant should they decide to do so. So, you know, after they came out and said what they said, and I agree with you completely, um, the statements were just totally outrageous. Um, they misled Floridians. They misled Americans about what the Florida legislature did to protect kids in kindergarten through third grade. Um, we started looking at those taxing districts, and today we, we acted, uh, d you know, affirmatively to make sure that in the next year that they will expire. So I understand that uh, you might be on the hook for about a billion dollars of the company debt and control of his fire and water departments. Is that, have you guys thought this through? Might you be taking on something you don't want to deal with? Absolutely, we have. And, you know, I can tell you this, that, that criticism is a red herring that has been thrown out by, by critics who want to muddy the water and confuse things. The reality is nothing is further from the truth. You know, nothing is going to change as far as the collection of taxes. Nobody's taxes are going to go up. There, there's already a statute in Florida when we dissolve these sort of special taxing districts on how to deal with them. So I, I think that's something that's being thrown out in the days here because people are trying to create chaos. Uh, but the reality is there's 12 months from uh, when the governor signs the, the legislation to make sure that we resolve this special district in the way that makes the most sense. Right. So uh, you guys passed in the House today, Senate yesterday. When does the governor sign it? We sent it to the governor this evening as soon as we were done. So uh, he, he can sign it whenever he wants. So your indication is, Mr. Speaker, that you guys are going to negotiate with Disney to try to come out with a statement that's somewhat sober? <laughs> You know, listen, I, I don't know what's going on at Disney, and, and candidly, I'm not sure what's going on in some of the clips that you mentioned about, about this bill. Um, it really was outrageous. I, I'll say this. Here's the silver lining. We have been talking about these special taxing districts and the powers that exist throughout the state of Florida. I mentioned it in 2019. I called it the subterranean state. Uh, we've been trying to get at them. Uh, now we've had the opportunity as a legislature uh, to get at them, and I think that's good government. So uh, one, of the, uh, one of the comments from an MSN MSNBC anchor was that Ron DeSantis is a fascist. What do you think? Who's the Ron DeSantis you know? The Ron DeSantis that I know is a bold leader who fights for Florida's families, whether it's keeping the state open during COVID, making sure our children get to school, uh, making sure that they can get back in the classroom. And, and here's another example. You mentioned it before about how, you know, there have been governors who've cowed town to corporate, corporate actions. This happened to us last year in the Florida legislature. We came out with a the bill to protect women's sports. The NCAA came out and said, if the Florida legislature passes that bill, we're going to boycott the state. Well, not only did we pass that bill with the leadership of this legislature, and this bold governor and Ron DeSantis, but we put another provision in, a, in law that said that if they boycott us, we boycott them, that the state universities will not be able to use taxpayer dollars to be members of the NCAA. And you know what happened, Brian? You know how many events they canceled and boycotted in the state of Florida? Zero. And that's because we had a governor and a legislature who stood up to them, who said, no, that the, the priority here is to protect women's sports, in this case, protect kids, and to protect the taxpayers as it relates to these special districts. Uh, these spineless corporations have kowtowed and demanded others bend, and you guys didn't. Hopefully this is a new trend, regardless of the issues. Uh, Mr. Speaker Sproles, thanks so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.